topic of this video is system deboot. boot in a few days and actually now in a few days we'll have the isos where you can choose system deboot boot or grub and grub has been there for six and a half years and has been reliable for most of the time let's say it like that and system deboot boot is a new option so how does that look well it depends um, i've been playing around with this system system already but the video is about learning about system boot. So let's start there. Learning about system boot. Either, either you go online or you stay offline. I mean, there is a lot of information in here. System boot. Type in the manual. Go read. Okay. Control C or Q is better. There is more information. And boot CTL. We'll check the Arch Wiki later on. That's an application. Control EFI firmware boot settings and manage bootloader. All right, you read everything again. Sometimes might it's worth mentioning that app the developers add something an option like this or an option like this. Again, read, read, read. Okay. Another thing is this particular system deboot thing is using with a certain configuration most of the things are running with the configuration right this one loader.conf so okay we've got that mm -hmm. but there is so much more with since we have now systemd boot we have things like an alias called boot i know at least what i'm on i'm using grub or a systemd boot we have kernel or kernels both give you the contents of a certain folder where you see, okay, that's the kernel I'm having at this point in time. There is the two grub if I want to change again. So people who are rolling and have been rolling for the last five years, they can even switch to system D boot by just typing to boot. And they switch around as, as many th times as you want. Remember the system D boot is a black screen system uh, the grub is a wallpaper basically that you have colorful icons logo right and most of all most of all most importantly maybe is system d boot works on all systems but ufi doesn't work on all systems ufi works on the new computers and the easiest way to know that is you plug in a usb of arclex and you see selections possibilities then on an old machine, you'll only get the nice, uh, well, logo of Arconix because it does not understand UFI. It's old. It does not get it, right? So if you have two solutions, if you have two choices, then your system, motherboard, is set to have both of them. You can set to have one or two, right? Legacy, boot up. But basically, UFI is not possible everywhere. It's mainly on the new machines where it's possible. Well, you see it already in the boot, if it's possible or not. So don't try to go to system D boot on an old machine. That's the message. So to boot and to grub, fine. Um, we can test that later, but that's not the topic of the video. That's here and staying here. What if you go to the internet, right? I always send you to two places, well, actually three places, our websites, our YouTube channel, which now can easily be found at the bottom here, right? We sent you here, we're at 3,700 videos, a lot of knowledge is shared, and system debut, we sent you to Arch Wiki Sound, Arch Wiki this, Arch Wiki that, and then you read. I do the same, I read, I make my scripts so I can forget and run the scripts to boot to grub done and here is the configuration the timeout console mode max they say we say keep editor no yes there are so many things you can add and change but my advice is do like i do this is a virtual machine play around in a virtual machine decide what you want test it out and then you know exactly what you like to have in here so my it didn't i was not successful it was successful outside the video right so 
might be also a virtual box thing it's just too quick that it's um, saved or booted up and stuff like that so i'll try it out on a, another machine a real metal machine but this is where you should change your things basically this will be my way of doing things a shortcut to the same file and i'll just type whatever i want the timeout zero is certainly one that i like but why not timeout one and then it even flashes and there's no no problem no worries if you just want to have a super quick glance poof it's gone and it's just about well being fast to actually do this and then you're in right and one second is not a lot and um, might be a better approach than finding this f thing so there you go all the information is online arch wiki don't um, stop there i mean system deboot is from many operating systems so any tutorial i haven't done that so i'll, I'll do that together with you guys uh, restore session is a good idea that is the internet there is more than the youtube channel of eric dubois there is home there is search and there is system d boot and you see versus grub configuration pop os customization boot arch dual boot bootloader install i mean go and grab things that sound interesting test it out on real metal and see right have a look what are they providing what information is there i'll have to skip the video here but yes i'll watch the video later on and see if i can learn something and that's the point of arclex the project is a learning project it's a university learn linux we just happen to be on arch linux but it's all linux right system debut is not typically for arch linux all right enjoy the new possibility to have system debut and learn about it cheers